Okay, you guys, welcome to Rated K. This is the third podcast that I did. I'm so excited. I have a special guest. She's a boss. She's a mogul. <laughs> She's a mom. What else can I say about you? Keep on she going. She just, she want me to keep going. She's <laughs> that bitch, like, seriously. And Period. We have Kiera Chardé. Yes. I know her as Kiwi Melons. There you go. <laughs> Do you like to be called Kiwi Melons? No. Why you don't like People that name? still be calling me Kiwi. Can you can you please tell them that I gave you the name Kiwi Melons? Uh, I feel like it was Jaya, but you think it was Jaya? Yes. Did I give you Kiwi? No, 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 no. You gave me Kiwi, and Jaya put the melons at the end because of my titties. <laughs> <laughs> you had boobs. It's seventh grade. <laughs> you had boobs in seventh grade. Yeah, I did. Me and Kira Sanford. What well, Kira Love? Kira Love. Yeah, yeah I feel like I gave you that titties. name though. I think you should go by that name, for real. No, not Kiwi. That's too freaky. That's so, key. So, I got this girl out of her busy schedule, and I'm actually, I didn't even go to sleep, because if you guys are, by the time you guys uh, listen to this, I had already posted a podcast that me and Jessica did, and I have not got any sleep from that. So, I'm so happy that Kira came and joined mm-hmm. me. So, I want to ask you, you know, um, who was the first person you ever did a sew-in for? <laughs> Can we get into that? Let's get into that. Um, You. With, we used what? Regular. We had regular needle. We had regular thread. Not hair thread, like clothing thread. Like yellow, green, red. Was it yarn or thread? No, it was thread. Like was the thread. thread. You know, like you get the thread from the store, like Family Dollar. The yeah, thin, thin thread. Y'all, she literally practiced on my head. That was probably like when when sewings first came out. I think that was in like seventh grade. Was it seventh or sixth grade? I did it for the funeral. You did. It mm-hmm. was it was Nikki's. Yeah. It was Kira Love's um cousin's funeral. She yeah. did my hair, and it was like, it literally was just that sewing was fire, bro. You said what? It was fire. That sewing was fire. It was, but if you look underneath it, it was like <laughs> rainbow. It was the like every the type the of foundation color. was through. But no, but you you evolved from that, and that is so crazy. No, I hate sew-ins. I hate doing. Them. You hate doing sew-ins? Yes. What do you What do you prefer better though? Uh, natural hair. Natural hair. I'm quick weaves every now and then. How would you get started into doing hair though? I always have like since like second grade, just playing with baby dolls and just. Did anybody in your family do no, hair? Like nobody just, know how to do hair. So nobody. so you just plan oh. plan and baby doll hair. Then when your mama don't know how, know how to do your hair, you be looking crazy. Don't do her. Don't do yo yo like that. <laughs> when your mama yo-yo. don't know how to do your hair and you be looking crazy, you like, look, I gotta do my own hair. And did, I didn't even have long hair like that as a kid. So <laughs> did you used to do? I didn't make you do it. Did you used to do Keisha's hair when she was little? Yes, I did. So you just experimented on everybody. I've been huh? doing my hair since my second grade pictures. <laughs> I did my own hair, bro. I seen your pictures with the. I just remember <laughs> when the. What do you call them? Like the bubbles? They was just like, your hair was... That's yeah, probably... Probably with some Nubian knots. No, it wasn't. It was like you were young. It was just like the bows and your hair was like... It was lopsided. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm most definitely uh, doing my own hair. So do you do you like enjoy doing hair or do you see it as a job? Like do you really, really enjoy well, it? Well, lately I've been going through this thingy thing. I enjoy doing hair. I love it. It's my passion. But now, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I'm falling out of love with doing it. Why? Why do you feel like that? I just feel like hair take over my life. I never, actually, I never felt like you felt like that before. No, I mean, this is the first time I'm actually telling people this. But really? Yeah. Maybe. It's like do you almost think, borderline depression. Do you think because you've been doing it for so long? That that too. And it's like doing hair, you on demand. You almost like somebody doctor. Like they mad at you. You don't respond back quick enough. And then it, it make me feel bad. Like if I'm busy, I'm booked. I'm trying to squeeze people in. It's like, oh, damn, I don't got time to be a mama. And then with the COVID stuff going on, it's yeah. like. I gotta do homeschooling, just I don't know. Like oh like probably like last year I've been like kinda like out of love with it. I feel like it take over my life. And I feel like uh with doing hair you have to um it's not guaranteed income. So it's almost like you gotta go to work. Or you gotta, you know, save up the right way so that you don't have to go to work. It's just a lot. It's do a you lot. do you think it was easier when you were working up under someone instead of? Cause you guys, she has her own business, and we gonna get into that too. But do you think it's easier when you was working up under somebody than having your own business? Um. Well, you know, I recently just closed my salon down this year in February, 
So I'm actually working up under someone right now. Of course, it's going to be easier. It's less responsibility. Do it feel weird? It feels completely weird to be working for somebody else. Financial-wise, of course, you know, I'm saving a whole lot. I don't have to pay all those bills by myself, but, you know. Do you think with the COVID situation that's going on right now, like, of course, it put a halt on your business, but... It put a big halt. I was actually selling products and stuff, and... I had to stop because they stopped selling the bottles that I needed. Oh, really? Just, mm -hmm. And I actually I'm about to revamp it, though. Like, I'm about to revamp my projects or whatever. I, I actually went on your website and tried to get a couple things, and it was... Yeah, yeah. I shut it down. So, it is... So I get it back and together. that's called the Kiara Chardé, her, right? Well, the Kiara Chardé, the hair collection. Collection, as they know, everything that Kiara Chardé has to offer, just like Nike. And Nike branches off a lot of stuff. It's Kiara Chardé. That's yeah. just the whole brand itself. I'm working on getting that back together right now. But that's actually smart. Like, you use your brand to... Because I would have never thought that you would use, like, doing people's hair. Like, literally, she straight up did my hair in her room and, like, in her kitchen. And you took that yeah. and you made a whole business out of it. Like, you were doing... Yeah. You took doing my hair with... I was. I always want to say yarn, but it's not yarn. <laughs> no, it's thread, bro. <laughs> it's thread. It's different color thread. You took that and made a business, and not only did you make a business, you actually took that shampoo, conditioner. Yeah. That's real. That's real smart, and yes, popular yes, too. Yes, so yes, a lot of people yes, yes. will definitely support you for that. Yeah, I'm trying to get it back together. Right now, it's a little slow. But yeah, everything is slow. It's gonna. It's gonna come together. Just. My life did like a whole 360 this year, a big 360. Did you ever think you would own your own business? You know what? You know, when you go to beauty school, everything, everybody's goal is, I'm going to give me a salon. I never want a salon. I'm like, give me the clients. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just want the money. I don't have to have the building. Just give me the clients so I know <clears> I got, you know, I got money coming in or whatever. So, yeah, I didn't want a business. I think. Randomly, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get me a salon. Never thought I was going to get one, but I got one. <laughs> do you do you have, like, any... Do you have any rules for your... Because, you know, you see all the times for when people come into shops, like, they be like, no kids, no this, no that. Like, you know you what? I, I for sure have rules, but people don't listen, okay? They think you What's the jump. rules? It's for sure it was no kids. You know, I, <laughs> no I mean, babies as kids. Not even that. Like, you can have kids that get in service, but people, how, why would you bring a, a, a infant while you're getting a son with? What's, what's, like, the most horrible is experience? I don't even know if that's a word. What's the most horrible experience you've ever had with a client? You don't even got to say their name. Just, horrible like. Horrible experience. Well, you was just, like, what the uh, fuck? Like, what? what is this? They all be irritating <laughs> Don't um, say that. What, not all, but some people do. They don't understand. They don't understand that we humans. I think people think hair styles is, is robots. Yeah, for sure. like we robots. Like we can't have a life. We can't go out of town. We can't even say, "I'm sorry, I can't do your hair today." But y'all can just do no like cars, no shows. You ever got cussed out? Like no, you I can't do my know. hair. You, you, you no, nah, they're probably being their feelings, but I never got cussed out before. I'm waiting for that day because I'm literally gonna <laughs> go ahead because I'm ready to quit. <laughs> Stressing me out. No, nah, I ain't never got cussed out before. I think um, what happened? Okay, I know what happened. I guess it wasn't the worst for me, but I guess it was the worst for the salon for the salon owner I was at. I was at um working at a salon. I didn't have my license yet, and I had put color on this lady hair. Now, normally when you doing color, with well, the shop I was at, we wasn't allowed to use anything that we didn't have knowledge on. So she brought her own color, which is why you shouldn't use other people's color. You should use the color that you have with your salon. So she brought her own color. She's like, "Oh, this color is good. When I use this color, it's always right." So I went ahead, I put the color in her hair. What mm -hmm. color was it? Red. But this fool had to be do it. She had to do it. She had to be on TV the next day. Why Ooh. the hell would you get color in your hair that, a day before? So of course when you dye your hair, you're gonna have you're gonna have a little bit red in your skin. You right. know her husband tried to come in like try to sue us for having color in her skin. What? Basically like, oh if she don't get her, if we if we can't get our money back, we All right, y'all. So my mic automatically just Pulled out. I don't know what happened, but you was talking about how someone tried oh, yeah. to do you. She this dude. She had her husband come in. She wasn't woman enough, I guess, to come in. So she had her husband come in. Like, um, you guys have got color on my wife's skin. She has to be on TV the next day. Blah 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 blah. Technically, we should have. We kind of could have went through with that because technically, when you get color, you're, it's gonna be some type of color on your scalp. Why? Right. The, why? Why would you try to be on TV the next day? 
<laughs> like, why? You, you you was gonna see it, but that guess that was just the only thing. And what else happened? Somebody tried to get their money back from me before. Like, oh, I ain't like my hair. I want my money back. But you all on Instagram, you smiling with that hair in your head. If you if you hate your hair, <laughs> trust me, you will never even take a picture of Have it. Have anybody ever brung like bad hair to you? And you're all like, the time. I, I can't. I can't. All use the this. time, they bring dirty hair, hair with thread in it. Really? Oh, yes, people. They nasty. don't wash it. No, some people is nasty, and I want to do it. I actually blocked this girl from being nasty. What? I don't want. I don't want to do her hair again because you just nasty. You, every time you do, every time you come, you, your hair just dirty. And I keep telling you constantly. You can't bring me hair like this. So until so she started being back clean. So it's just like, is it the grade of hair or it's just like, it's just dirty? It be dirty. Like, legit dirty. Like, you don't, that's another service. You want me to wash your weave too? You came for a sewing. You should have clean hair. Have people ever tried to ask you to dye the weave? Yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem doing that. Just bring it like a couple of days before. Bring it like a couple of days before and then I can dye it. That's crazy. So how did you how did you go about like picking the people that you wanted to work for you? Uh, like, is it people? Is it like people that you fuck with for ever? Yeah, or like, is it like I knew Brianna, so I'm like, okay, you know, you gonna do nails. Um, she had a friend named Maya. I didn't do Maya. I know she had did good work. I said, okay, you gonna be the braider. <laughs> uh, you know, I knew Janae. She's gonna do hair and she's gonna do makeup. Uh, Monet was the first person to actually, you know, when I posted that, you know, have a new salon, I'm hiring. She was the first person to, you know, be like, okay, you know, I want to work here. So she been rocking me from the very beginning. Out, out of all the people that work for you, who, who gives you the least issues? Like, who gives now, why you? Would you make, who, why would you make? I gotta, I gotta get into it. You know, I gotta get into who it. Who is my who, best worker? I didn't say that. That's I said, who gives you said. the least problems? Monet, she was the best. You think so? Yes. Never had an issue. Never had a problem. No. Never had itty bitty tiny mistake. It was. It was you two too. It, it was. And y'all, if y'all listening to this, I n I never said the best. I said who gives you the least problems. So let's let's point that out right there. Monet. Okay. Well, who gives you? No, I'm just. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Nobody. Like, who, get, who, Nobody is, was who was your worst worker? Actually, I did have a worst worker, but we're not gonna talk about that. Oh. I, I, I had a bad one. You got to tell me when we get off. <laughs> okay. You got to tell me because now I'm That's curious. another reason, like, I'm not happy that my salon was shut down, but it's a lot. People, it be looking sweet on Instagram. Like, oh, I got me a shop. Yeah, a lot come with that. Oh, and I want to point out there, like, I don't want to gloat or, like, boost myself up, but I did help you with the inside. And I just remember that design mm -hmm. of your sh salon. Yeah, the little stripes. I did. I, I looked, you know what I was, you was asking for help and I looked on Pinterest and I seen that idea and I was like, bro, I'm going to open up another place, but it's not going to be a salon. It would just be like what my inventory and my products would be. I'm trying to really get started with like marketing and my products and stuff. Like I kind of feel like I just fell off because there's been so much going on. Well, yeah, definitely. It's but it's been it's been a lot of shit going on. Like a lot like of people, it's, it's like the whole Kier Charday thing been on pause. Did you ever get that on. name? Um, what is it called? Trademarked Kier Charday is it trademark? Yeah. Oh damn! Do you gotta pay for that? Yes, you do. You gotta pay a lot of money for that. Mm, what if I can get Viva Lakai trademark? I don't know can. for what child because. Yeah, <laughs> but is it a lot? You want to get trade? That's not that bad. It's worth it. You want to get trade markets? People can take take your stuff. You know, take your you ideas and your pr protect it. So what happens if somebody wanted to? If somebody took the name Kier Charday and tried to brand it, like you can sue them and you absolutely. Can... Okay, bitch. Sue the hell out of them, actually. Okay. So we talked about your salon and all the things that you yep, got going. Yep. Yep. Um. How about? Did we talk about when we first met? How, how did we? How did we no. first meet? For I didn't like for, you, bro. Bro, oh my god! Listen, everybody <laughs> says that on this podcast. You're the second person. Everybody did not like me, and I knew you was gonna say that. What made you not like me? You were irritating. I'm still irritating. Yeah, still actually, it's, it's still childish, very immature, <laughs> and it's so funny because we actually was kids, <laughs> and I was a grown kid. Like I'm like this girl. Is no, this bitch will always like. She was like I didn't want to come to my birthday parties. She was the kid that cooked. I'm trying not to be in your face because I know my breath is off the chain because I've been drinking. Nah. 
But um, I think, oh, yeah, Asia, she, Asia used to always bring you to my party. The her and her mom, I'd be something like, why would y'all bring her? I would be so excited. Too. I never thought she <laughs> felt like this until like when we got older. And I'm like, you didn't like me? No, what? no, I'm irritating. No, no that was in a car and y'all were just laughing at stuff. Like, wasn't even funny. Like, y'all were just laughing. <laughs> she, no, was Kira like, was a grown ass kid. Like, <laughs> literally, she been cooking longer than any of us have ever been cooking like she would just okay. always cook i remember you used to come in we had what did we have third grade together and she and i'd eat this to this day because of kira i would put, you know what i'm about to <laughs> no 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 it was tomatoes she used to put tomatoes in vinegar with salt and pepper and i still to this slap. day eat that because of you i'd be like oh my god that's so good what what is this it's slap that's so good i should make some today yeah i need to make some. me some too make some sound but yeah i'm i'm sad that everybody when they get on this podcast, they say they didn't like me. And it's just like... No, you was very irritating, childish, <laughs> laughing at you. still do this. That's the sad part. <laughs> I know. I'm, Never I'm 25 and I still and I still act like you that. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you who? I'm 25 and I still Girl, act like that. You're 30, like, ain't you? you a grandma, I know. Mm-hmm. We are 29 together. We, no, you speak 29. for yourself. I'm 25 and a half. Jeez, I say I have. 29. 20, 20 29. Five. And a half, y'all. Twenty five and a half. Think I'm talking about childish and still lying. <laughs> so we're gonna get in <clears throat> a little deep. I know you gotta leave. What time do you have to leave? Soon. Let's talk. Soon. Okay. So let's get in the, into the nitty gritty, and we're gonna talk about love life. Is is there a love? Li- love is there a love life? life? I got. I, yeah, see, yeah. me and Kira talk. We we there we is, good friends, so I know kind of a, something. There there is a love life. Why are you gonna? You know I'm about to have him listen to this too. <laughs> We gotta. He wanna listen yo, to this it. a podcast. We gotta get into it. So, is there a love life going on with yeah, you? Yeah, I have love life. I How's love that life. going? It's, it's, it's going. It's know. going. Yep, it's going. Are you in love? Yeah, I love him. <laughs> she she got <laughs> quiet. Oh, you love him? Yeah. Ooh. Who know about this love? Everybody know about this love. You in love, meaning like you want to have baby. No. Oh my god! You, you was milking love. it. You was milking I gotta it. get the juicy information, yo. What do you think? You think we're we not just... having no babies? We're not having no babies right now. We're not having no babies. So it's a good thing you in love. Yeah, I love a lot. So of I, right I already know your name, but if you're listening to this, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here, that's gonna pick that up, bro. <laughs> See, I can't stop. That's gonna pick that up. It's a joke. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not, bitch. Oh my god. Yes. Lord have mercy. That is so yeah, crazy. He gonna, he gonna listen to it. I already told him. Okay, good. It. Cute. You So, you already told him you was coming? Yeah. All right. Well, what else you can I, talk can about? I, can you I, talk I, about baby daddy, can, single mothers? What? How how do you feel about you, shit? We can talk about baby daddies. How you feel about your baby Fuck daddy? Fuck that nigga. Sorry. Here, uh uh-uh. uh, nah. <laughs> Cut the cameras. <laughs> all right, cameras. All right, all right. Yeah, you already know about that about that man. I already know, but I be making it happen by myself. So that's good. That's why I said a, a mogul, a boss, a fucking a mother. Like, yeah. what more do you need? What, what more do you need? But yeah, that's that's funny. So hopefully you and your boo do good. Are you gonna are you gonna can I meet this boo or no? Yeah, we can FaceTime him as soon as you get done. No, no I don't wanna face I wanna be face to face. I wanna embarrass him. <laughs> no, I, I know wanna, you I wanna, that's, that's, I wanna tell him the story. I wanna tell him stories. What you gonna tell him I'm bald headed? I wasn't I wasn't gonna say that on no yeah, here. That's all you ever say. But yeah, you bald headed. Okay. Your hair long now? <laughs> you got edges now? Here, <laughs> you said it. You said I was not gonna I'm talk about you being bald. No, pie. bro, bro, you can you can embarrass me. You can't nobody ever. You know what? I would. You need to start doing podcasts when we get to see the camera. Oh, so no, would you? No, Kier, Kier be trying to hold people because <laughs> I will. That's, this is why I get on. I get on Facetime with her, and she's like. <laughs> Why you need a wig on? Why? But, but she, she cannot can't, be normal on Facetime. I can't. She can't. You gotta have a bro, wig. Bro, she be on. calling me Franklin <laughs> on Facetime. Like, this girl has to have a wig on. You know, I come. I'm coming. <clears throat> wig off. Bonnet on. Little braid sticking out. It's just <laughs> off. Please, the edges is still here. <laughs> don't, don't do no, it. No, but Kira, see, I, I always gotta have a wig. Awesome. You, you always gotta protect yourself. You gotta be ready because Kira, child, is she like the screenshot? 
people, <laughs> and she liked to use that as. Uh, I Delicious. still got pictures of That's you. That's funny. I was screen- in my phone. I was screenshot kept, and he was mad. Bro, you s- <laughs> no names. Mm-mm. Kira is childish. <clears throat> she say I'm childish, but she real, real childish. <laughs> she real childish, cause I will end up on Facebook probably, and I ain't gonna do you like that. You wouldn't. I, that's all in my old phone. <laughs> Yo, this bitch got two phones, got, bro. Got the bops. Two one. phones. Three phones. Are you back on Facebook yet? Yeah, you know, I pop in and out, but I'm on there. Here we go, in and out of Facebook. And I you, be, I be bro, having my moments. So you be you sickening. Know. Like, every time this bitch posts a picture, she's in a different color wig. She's like, blue hair. Fucking blonde hair, red hair. You was going. You yeah, was, I'm about to bust that blue one back on. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing pink for breast cancer. Are you? So, yeah, I'm going to have a pink wig. It's going to be pretty dope. That's cute. How you going to do it? Is it going to be long? Nah, I like short. I like a like 16 inch. I'm going to do like a little half of half. Down. <laughs> cute little 12 inch. Cute little 12 inch. <laughs> you, well, know I, you know I still baby. got your shirt that you gave me. I should have worn it. It says uh, Kier Chardet. I forgot I what else to say. Too. I, I probably can't too. even fit in no more. I got so big. I got so big. I need to go on diet to myself. And speaking of big, let's get into Kier because she... She's so smart. <laughs> I know that sounded wrong. <laughs> Speaking of big, yeah. let's get it to Kier. No, let's get it to Kier. Let's see how big key turned to little key. Kier is so skinny, I bro. I am not skinny. You is skinny, She is bro. milking it. She's... <laughs> bro, I'm bigger than you, bro. You milking it. You... Bro, you skinny as fuck. You came in, I nah, said, right. even though you had the Cheetos in your mouth, you was like... <laughs> right, down, the, down the bag of popcorn. But you, you skinny. Slap. Do you feel good? Yeah, I do feel good. I feel good. How and much I, weight did you lose? Um, I don't know. I was like, first I was like 213, <clears throat> then I got to like 198. Damn. But my weight fluctuates. That's how mine is too. I got so Up and down, up and down. I'm about to probably be on my cycle, so I'm a little bloated right now, so mm. you know how that be. But you look real skinny and booty plump, titty sitting pretty, you know? A little something, something. Uh, a little something. Let me get this stomach done next. I wish I had money like you. Let me borrow twenty dollars. <laughs> Cause no, no, I'm just, no. In real life, I'm like serious. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so what time is it? One o five. All right, I know you gotta go. I tried to get as much juicy shit as I could. Speaking with you. now forever. You got like five minutes. I got five, okay. Yeah, like we five could minutes. do we could do five more minutes. What do you want to say? I mean, what, I don't know. You you got any you got any new things coming up with your salon or what's um, going on with well, your salon? I was gonna be getting me a little studio, but you know, I don't think that's the right time. And God said, you know, no, not that. He wants something <clears> bigger, so I have to just focus on myself as a person now. Like I got to get my mental together. Like ever since I closed the salon down, I moved. I had a lot of events of stuff that happened 2020 and your house is beautiful too thank you you got a nice house so I'm trying my, to... my whole apartment is kira's uh room <laughs> <laughs> period i'm trying to get my i'm trying to get kiara together before <clears throat> i get my business i'm trying to get my mental state together i've been having a lot going on but it's getting better that's so. all right we're gonna work it we're gonna work it through that's I'm all praying and should have probably closed Receiving. that window before I started doing the podcast, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Motherfuckers just, just doing what they doing, drag racing out in the street. Everything going to get together. When they do get together, you know, y'all can follow me on Instagram at Kira Chardé. Oh. <laughs> she clapping. She's ghetto, ghetto, bro. Ghetto. She's like, you can follow me at... Wait, and then shut up. Y'all can follow me at Kira Chardé, and that's K-I-E-R-A-S-H-A-R-D-A-E. Underscore does my hair. That's my hair page. I also have... on. Um, uh, the hair collection page, but once you get to that page in my bio, you're gonna see everything else. You know, the personal page is Kiara Shade. So, Period. and that's the private page. That's when I do me. So, and y'all yeah. gotta let her do y'all hair because you 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 said you like the doing the natural hair more. I thought you would like doing sew ins. No, she like no, the natural hair. Oh no, no, you make more money doing natural hair. Really? Yeah, that's like guaranteed client. They're gonna keep on coming back. You Who's know? your longest client that you have? Long, like, with the longest hair? The long, no, the longest client. Like, that's been rocking with you from, like, day one. Like, who's the long? that's been coming? Her name is Miss Stephanie. Stephanie is the longest client I ever had. Okay. Yep. All right, so when we get off of here, we're going to figure out who's who's your worst worker. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm curious about that. I feel like yeah. I have an idea, maybe. No, you don't. No? You don't you think don't. so? You don't even know her like that. Hmm. 
All right. Well, thank you for coming to visit. I'm going to end this no podcast. Problem. And I might be back when I get some new news. Yeah, when Kira gets some more tea, I just wanted to get her in here. And I was a blessed to get her. Blessed. She got, a, she got a busy schedule and I'm just a peasant to her. <laughs> so that's all I can do. Don't be dramatic. But all right, you guys. Thank you for staying this long in this podcast. And this has been a pleasure to have... Kiera Charde Charde Kira Jackson. Oh no! What? <laughs> what? Wow! <laughs> That's my own name. <laughs> yeah, don't say my don't say my last name on here. Ki- Kiera, Kiera Charde. Charde, and we will be back. Hopefully, she'll come back soon, y'all. So I'll be back soon. So back her into the, the comments to have her come back soon, y'all. Because I'll so be fun. back. I'll be back. All right, you guys. Bye. Bye.